Diane in Denmark here and another video about the magic power of the timer. Now, um, you haven't, I don't think I've made any videos in here before. We are in the dungeon. Uh, the dungeon is our basement. This is where I permanently keep set up uh, the ironing board and this is where I hang up the laundry when I can't get it hang up, uh, hung up outside. So in Denmark, that's all, most of the year round. We've got windows in here that I can open, so we, we get enough air through the place. Uh, but before I get started, I'm just gonna switch on, get my, um, I wanna get the iron going. Now, what am I gonna use it for today? I'm gonna show you uh, me folding laundry and doing my ironing. Uh, right now when I'm making this video, we're in the month of August, which, and the focus is on laundry talked about laundry before your routine probably is very different from mine we don't have a tumble dryer uh, oh and just while I think about it if, if you need to reboot your laundry or put a load of laundry in you know and a lol load of laundry if you need to do a lol why don't you stop the video go and put that in and then come back uh, but my laundry routine is either last thing at night or first thing in the morning when I go downstairs and grab my cup of coffee I put on a, a lol, a load of laundry, and then I get on with my morning routine, and then uh, I come back downstairs at the end of my morning routine. I've, I've just uh, put on the uh, washing machine for a final spin. I always give it an extra final spin because I don't have a tumble dryer. So I don't know if you can hear that behind me, there's kind of whirring going behind me. So it's on its final spin. I switch on the iron, I start folding yesterday's laundry which is now dry uh, and don't worry you're not going to see any unmentionables today i've removed the underwear um but i fold i start folding yesterday's laundry and then i iron quickly iron anything that needs iron so i'm going to use the timer as a stopwatch today and see how long it takes me to do that using the timer is a fantastic thing because we think it's going to take longer than it does, you know, like unloading the dishwasher, uh, but it also keeps you focused and on and on task. So oh, if you hear it, it's, it's uh, my iron heating up. Um, but the timer is a really good thing as well, because if you just set your timer for five minutes or 10 minutes and say, you know what, I'm going to fold laundry or I'm going to do ironing. And if possible, make it you know, a pleasant job for yourself. I don't know if you can see behind, but uh, this is a, a really dreadful room. It's in the basement, we'll only use it for storage. But um, down here I have my radio uh, and I always kind of time it so I'm listening to the news when I'm hanging up uh, the laundry and ironing. So that way it doesn't even really feel like I'm doing anything. I'm listening to the news. And I'm getting on with another job. So anyway, I've been speaking for three minutes about laundry. Let me start the timer. There we go. Okay, it's going. And all I'm going to do is fold first. And normally by the time I've folded, the iron is nice and hot. And um, for t-shirts that don't need iron, I have, <laughs> I have one of these. Oh, no. I'm just bring it around here the flip folder you know you've probably seen uh, Sheldon on Big Bang Theory we love to flip fold so I'm just doing that behind you and if you want to go ahead and fold your laundry play along with me see see how nicely that comes out and then I just do one more fold and that fits in uh, a box from IKEA and you can stack them and then I'm just folding these towels. You know, maybe you can fold laundry while the kids uh, do some drawing beside you, or maybe they can fold their own laundry if you've got a flip folder. Right, there's towels. And there. T 
cheap towel. I'll just iron that out. Woo! I love power tools, don't you? My tea towel done. And t shirt. This one is going to be flip folded. Again, just one more fold and then it can go into an IKEA box and they'll stand up nicely together. This t-shirt doesn't need to be ironed because it's going to be worn under something else. But it is flip folded. There you go. Right, and these are just socks. I like to make wee packets out of the socks. I don't know, maybe you, maybe you roll things, maybe, maybe you're into Marie Kondo. I like to make little packets of them and they lie flat. There we are. Right, that's socks. And there was a towel there for sport. Boom. And my skirts. to shirts and blouses and maybe you don't bother ironing things that's up to you I'm just showing you what I do we're all you know we're all different and I'm not saying you should do exactly the same as me I mean I tell you that all the time you do not have to have the same product as me you know we've all got different houses lifestyles you know some people like to iron you know, socks, pants, uh, towels. Me, I just like to iron, you know, at least um, shirts and blouses and some t-shirts. And as I say, normally I would be listening to the radio and, you know, dancing along with whatever tune is on but today I'm talking to you so I hope you feel like you've got some company for doing this right that's one done this is a hanger that can go out And when I'm ironing shirts, uh, I always imagine that I'm ironing shirts for Jason Statham and the Transporter. I don't know if you know the Transporter films, but Jason Statham for me is the ultimate uh, fly, fly guy because he's always got a really clean car. Car's always full of you know petrol, ready to go at my moment's notice. He's always immaculately dressed to shoes. So when I'm doing shirts, I just imagine that Jason Statham is coming round. Uh, you know, he's always got this stash in the back of his car of clean shirts once he's finished fighting with the baddies. And you know, if you want to make uh, ironing go a bit faster or nicer, you know, put on the, the TV or watch uh, something that you enjoy. 
light a candle, you know, put a picture of Iron Man in your washing room or wherever you are into it. There we go, another shirt down. The last one for today. And some days I have like one item to iron. You know, other days I have like 10. Uh, but I like to keep the iron permanently set up and then I, I just do it, you know, I just do it every day. And that way I'm not spending like a whole Sunday afternoon as I used to do before I found Fly Lady System. Okay, I don't know if you can hear my washing machine now, but it sounds like, uh, you know, a plane is about to take off. So I think I'm almost ready for hanging up the day's laundry. Boom, done. Big bada boom. Right, let's see what the timer is at right now. I hope I remember to switch it on. Yay, eight minutes. And that was me talking to you about my laundry room, folding laundry, uh, and I've done the ironing as well, and I've flip folded. Right, so I am going to um, go to the next stage of my laundry, which is hanging up today's laundry. I'm putting what I have just folded away because remember when we do laundry we need to do all the processes when you sort the laundry you need to get it in the washer uh, put it in the dryer if you have a dryer or line dry it like I do um, and then you're going to fold it once it's dry iron it and then the last part is put away so I'm going to take my laundry let me just show you what I've got and don't worry, I'm, I'm not showing you the underwear that came off the line today. There we are, that's my pile ready to go. Uh, and what I do with mine is I simply put it on uh, each person's room, like on the kids' beds or on the kids' chairs, and they put their own laundry away. Right, that's it for me. I am going to take out the laundry from the machine, and I'm hoping, I'm looking at the window here, it's quite nice and sunny in Copenhagen today, so I'm, I've got sheets, uh, because I changed sheets yesterday as part of weekly home blessing hour. So I'm going to hang those outside. Wish you a great day. Diane in Denmark signing off. Remember to use that timer.